we are going to make this into this in this video i'm going to tell you advanced settings of pcsx2 let's go the first thing i'm going to talk about is create a shortcut for this app when you double click on this the game it will be open if you right click you can pin it to taskbar if you hit and close that one it will be closed i'm going to create the shortcut i press right click show more option create a shortcut in here i use ctrl x then click on desktop and press ctrl v to have a shortcut of that i'm going to do a bunch of things to improve the game quality at first i need to go to the settings in here you need to find interface in interface option i need to enable a start full screen and hide cursor in full screen you need to enable both of these options so when you full screen your cursor it will be automatically hide in here we have the channel update we have nightly and we have a stable if you see lots of updates and you need to hit an escape button you can set the nightly to a stable and if you don't want to see automatic update check you need to disable this option in game list you can add another game directory onto this pcs x2 emulator you can hit on the add find the game folder for example you connect your external hard drive and you have some ps2 games on there so select the folder and press on the yes if you hit on scan for new games if you have any new games it will be set. if you enable this checkbox it will be a scan the subfolders if you disable it it won't scan these subfolders and at the previous video i told you what is the subfolder i actually don't want this one and hit on the remove okay in bios option you need to enable fast boot if you disable this fast boot option some bios regions they will be crashed after you launch a game so is necessary needs to be enabled let's go to the emulation part if you have an old computer and you see lags while gaming watch this part carefully i'm going to talk about underclocking and overclocking imagine that you have a game which use 100 percent of your ps2 emulator cpu usage right when you overclock that game is already going to use 100 percent of your cpu usage and nothing is going to be changed and you will see lags because you have an old pc but when you underclock for example you set your emulator cpu usage at 75 percent 25 percent of your cpu usage it will be remain and that game which needs 100 percent of cpu usage it can only receive 75 percent of your cpu usage 25 percent is going to be remain and you won't see lags anymore this is the whole thing it's a bit complicated but that is what it is so we need to underclock on ee cycle skipping you can set it as moderate underclock and in here ee cycle rate you can set it as 75 percent underclock if you too overclock it you'll see lags if you too underclock it you'll also see lags so you need to fix and be at the balance i hit on 75 percent which is good if 75 percent didn't work set it as 60. do not set 50 because you'll see lags graphic part on windows DirectX 11 and 12 works better. I set as DirectX 3D 12. At the adapter, you need to choose your main graphic. Okay, this is my main graphic. This is my CPU graphic. I choose my main graphic card. On aspect ratio, I recommend the standard part. But if you want, you can do the other thing that's personal, but a standard is better. Right now, let's jump to the rendering part in rendering we have internal resolution which is set for ps2 default if you want you can change it you can set it as 70 20 pixel 1080 i'm going to send it as 1080 you will see the differences in here okay let's go to the osd osd means over the screen display in osd you need to enable show fps and show speed percentage this is the game fps and this one is video fps and this is the percentage usage right now it is on 100 pcsx2 emulator has recording option if you want you can record your game with using this software and this is the settings of it you can set bitrate you can say kodak video output folder you can set out don't change anything in audio let's jump to the memory card memory cards you have two eight megabyte memory card like your ps2 physical memory card you can copy and create a backup from your ps2 games files network and hdd you can set a hard drive for your ps2 and you can add a network connection to play with your friends on your local network in folder option you can change the directories for example you can change cache directory you can change cheats directory covers directory anything okay 
again let's go to the graphic if you want you can enable integer scaling it will improve game pixel based on game quality sometimes it will expand a pixel into two pixels that's for natural games not for ps2 games but if you want you can enable it okay if you play a game and you don't see any lags and you understand your game resolution and video resolution and the percentage of your file you can disable fps and disable percentage speed now it's time to add hotkeys you need to go to the settings in here find controllers click on the hotkeys i type my customized hotkeys on a screen if you want you can set them for yourself To set control 2, you need to go to the your controller in here to set it as dual shot 2. In here, connect it and press on auto mapping. Choose the controller and all of the things should work fine. Right now it's the time to set the cover art. So you need to search PCSX2 cover downloader open the github website okay you need to copy this link go to the tools and press cover downloader paste your link and enable use serial file names and hit on the start download complete so i press on the close right now i set it as list if i set it as icons i will see the covers if i disable this option i don't see the names and i see the names with this school part i can maximize and minimize the games icons the final thing which i'm going to talk about it is achievements you need to go to this website just simply click in here and you will directly go to the retro gaming website if you don't have any accounts in here you need to sign up but i actually have an account i need to press on sign in this is my username and this is my password in here press on login type your username then type your password and press on login press yes again yes and all done you logged in and as you can see achievements are now available and hardcore mode is right now available but if you don't actually like to play on hardcore mode you can disable when you enable achievements as an example if you finish a mission in a game you will receive an achievements and it will be shown on there and it can also be shown on your profile in retroachievements.org all done if you like play ps1 games on your computer you can watch this video see you on the next one